Hey everyone, David Hunter here with OA Systems. Today I'm going to take you through implementing the modern advanced bind. Currently this feature is in preview and will be available for general public release in April with the ultimate goal to increase overall productivity. So to get started, I'm just going to head over to the sales hub. And you can see here currently the advanced find is in the top right hand corner. Now that will will change. So we're going to head over to the admin center at uh, admin.powerplatforms.microsoft.com. Then once you're logged in, we want to go over to environments, select the appropriate environment and click on the three dots. And we're going to go down into settings. From here, we're going to select product and then go down to features. Great, we're going to scroll down. And then you can see here advanced find options and we're going to select on. You'll also see below it allow users to hide system views. Uh, we're going to have that on as well as that's quite a cool feature to have in place. Then we're going to scroll up and we're actually going to turn on the dataverse search as well. As you can see there, it is recommended. Then scroll down and click save at the bottom right. Very good. Then we're going to head back over to the CRM. It will take a couple of minutes to refresh typically, and I'll just do a refresh now. And there we go. You can now see that there is a search bar in the center there at the top, and there is no longer an advance find uh, search op options on the right. So what we're going to do now is simply click into the search box and then at the bottom there you can see it says search for rows in a table using advanced filters. So we're going to select that. And here we go. You can see you've got all your options from different tables to implement. So we've got accounts right through. There's leads, uh, cases, lots of different options you can you can select there. And we're going to go ahead and click accounts for this example. And select continue. So in this demo environment, uh, the default is on all accounts. So that's what it will be searching under. So you just click on to add and then we're going to add a new row. So there's lots of different fields you can select here that are appropriate for searching within accounts. If, for example, we had have initially selected leads, then these would change to be more specific um, to searching within your your leads that you have. So, for example, it will have things like estimated value and things of that nature. So for this, we are going to now select different fields here that I want to bring up in the, the search criteria. So I'm going to Make sure first that they're active. So I'm going to select status and that's going to equal active. Then we're going to add another row and we might choose the city that they're from. So again, it's equaling uh, Auckland. And you can really go through this to be a specific as you like for what you're looking to achieve in terms of your search. There's lots of different options that you that you can select. Um, and again, you know, whether it's canceling out some options, um, it's all there for you to filter through. So we're just going to delete that last one. So we're just going to search for active accounts in Auckland and then you simply click apply. And there we go. You can see there's three results um, that have come up which is great. And you can also see here that there's an asterisk next to all accounts, which is identifying that these have been filtered. Um, one other thing you can do, you can always edit the columns as well. We can change the order of these, um, add column, columns if you wish to. So for example, you, know, you can move the, the status of the email around or any of those that just um, drag and drop tabs. And you can apply those and then you can see that they have now change location, which is very cool. So another thing you can do, you can click the 
little drop down tab there we can actually save this as a new view so if it's going to be a commonly used view rather than going through that process every time you can save it so we could call that all accounts in Auckland you can add a description if you like and then simply select save so now you can see there it says all accounts in Auckland the asterisk is gone because it's now a safe search view and there's all our accounts that are active in Auckland so another thing you can do is select the little drop down tab and go down to manage and share views so here we can see we can actually come in here and do a lot of things so we can manage them so you can see here we can actually hide different views so inactive accounts or we can have them to appear and show them so there's different options there that you can control and what you can see and what you can't see in your drop down tabs of of your different accounts um, and also if we go back into the all accounts in Auckland we can actually share this with other team members um, that you wish or users that you wish to to share the, the view with so you can see here Joe blogs we can add Joe in and then it's got read write delete giving him different permissions that they can then use for themselves um, and you can see they can also have access to assign or, or share this on so I hope that's been very helpful if you've got any questions or support please feel free to get in touch Thanks very much.